SwiftUI uses an animatable data property to let us animate changes to shapes. But what happens when we want two, three, four or more properties to animate? Animatable data is a property, which means it must always be one value. However, we have to decide what type of value it is. It might be a single CG float, or it could be two values contained in a special wrapper called animatable pair. To try this out, let's look at a new shape called checkerboard, which must be created with some number of rows and columns. Struct checkerboard, conform to shape. Var rows int, var columns int. Func, path in rect, cg rect, returns path. Var path equals path. First, we'll figure out how big each row and column has to be. We'll say, let row size equals rect.height divided by CG float rows. And let column size equals rect.width divided by CG float columns. Next, we'll loop over all rows and columns, making alternating squares colored. For row, in zero to rows. For column, in zero to columns. If row plus column is multiple of two, then a square should be colored, so we'll add a rectangle here. Let start x equals column size times CG float column. Let start y equals row size times CG float row. Then a whole rectangle. Let rect equals CG rect, x start x, y start y, width column size, height row size. And path to add rect rect. And at the end, return path. We can now create a 4x4 checkerboard in a Swift UI view using some state properties we can change with a tap gesture. At state, private var, rows equals 4. At state, private var, columns equals 4. Checkerboard, rows, rows, columns, columns. Dot on tap gesture, with animation, dot linear, duration 3. Self.rows equals 8. Self.columns equals 16. When that runs, you should be able to tap on the black squares to see the checkerboard jump from being 4x4 to 8x16, without animation, even though the change is inside a with animation block. As with simpler shapes, the solution here is to implement an animatable data property that will be set with intermediate values as the animation progresses. Here, though, there are two catches. First, we have two properties that we want to animate, not one. And second, our row and column properties are integers, and SwiftUI can't interpolate integers. To resolve the first problem, we're going to use a new type called animatable pair. As its name suggests, this contains a pair of animatable values. And because both of its values can be animated, the animatable pair can itself be animated. We can read individual values from the pair using dot first and dot second. To resolve the second problem, we're just going to do some type conversion. We can convert a double to an int just by using int sum double, and go the other way by using double sum int. So to make our checkerboard animate changes in the number of rows and columns, add this property now. Public var animatable data, animatable pair, double double. Get animatable pair, Double rows, double columns, and set self.rows equals int, new value dot first, self.columns equals int, new value dot second. Now, when you run the app, you should find the change happens smoothly, or as smoothly as you'd expect given that we're rounding numbers to integers. Of course, the next question is how do we animate three properties, or four? To answer that, let me show you the animatable data property of SwiftUI's edge inset type. Animatable pair CG float, animatable pair CG float, animatable pair CG float CG float. Yes, they use three separate animatable pairs, then just dig through them using code such as new value dot second dot second dot first. I'm not going to claim this is the most elegant of solutions, but I hope you can understand why it exists. 
Because SwiftUI can read and write the animatable data for a shape, regardless of what the data is or what it means, it doesn't have to reinvoke the body property of our views 60 or even 120 times a second during an animation. It just changes the parts that actually are changing.